Today, we are going to be comparing good old and Unity physics in both 2D and 3D. With these simple yet effective tests, we will see the main differences in terms of results in both of them. I do have to say that the results surprised me a lot, so let's get started. I will firstly show you both projects that we are going to be using, firstly in 2D, so that you see what we are going to be using, but well, it's, both are super super simple, in this case in Goodout, we have different static bodies to this, we basically sprites and collision shapes to form the wall themselves, um, then I have some markers, these markers will basically determine in which positions the balls are able to spawn, we have uh, a timer that will basically determine um, the, the rate for the spawning and finally we have the UI that basically has um, a level that will have the FPS and a time level. Moving on to the actual ball, the only thing that it has is a rigid body, as you can see any of the options have been modified, sorry, none of the options have been modified, it is the rigid body as it comes in Goodout with a sprite 2D and a collision shape. Now in terms of the code we have in the main script, we basically have a pretty simple uh, spawning system like this and in the UI we ba basically update the text as they should. Now we are able to start and just before of that you can check that I have no add-ons installed, no plugins enabled, I haven't modified anything in terms of plugins, so this is just the without default physics engine and we should even be able to uh, check it out over here. As you can see the physics engine is the default physics engine. Now let's get started with this test. As you can see as soon as we start well, it seems that everything is working fine, we are getting huge FPS but uh, also we can see that the physics simulation is not bad of course it is quite good the behavior and the overall simulation does work quite good but well the problem comes when we reach something like 23 24 uh, uh, time okay and as you can see everything starts to break um, and well of course we get bad FPS and well the main problem here is that they are trespassing here the, the collision in the wall so as there are so so many balls like collisions uh, start to be detected uh, in a bad way so let's say that in good old, we were able to run this project for something like 23 seconds and after that time the main thing that was causing uh, all the errors was the fact that collisions weren't detected correctly also one last thing that is worth mentioning is the spawn rate the spawn rate we are having here every 0.05 seconds and every 0.05 seconds we are getting 5 volts, okay? That's why I'm using here F4E in range. Now in Unity we do have quite a similar uh, setup over here. Um, we have the same walls here um, that are basically objects with a sprite renderer and box collider. I have the spawner object. I of course have the camera as well. I have the canvas with the FPS and time text and the vol itself is basically a sprite renderer, a circle collider and a rigid body. Once again you can see that no options have been modified. Here you can see the code for the canvas, super super simple, we're basically always updating here the FPS, sorry the time and then here we every one second we are updating the frames per second and the spawner once again the interval or the rate is again 0.05 and in every uh, and every time we are spawning up to 5 volts. Oh well, let's see now in Unity what results we can see. Oh well, we do see the, the exact same physics simulation that it works well at the beginning. We do get interesting uh, uh, FPS. I would say that physics simulation here does feel a little bit more realistic, better simulated, I don't know. And as you can see, we are reaching something like the 23 seconds that we used to have in Goodout. And well, nothing happens, okay? No, no balls are raking through the collisions. We are even now in something like 27, 24 seconds. And as you can see, we still have pretty stable FPS. And mo the most important thing here is the fact that we're having thousands of balls here. And none of them, not even one, has a 
passed through the walls okay and that is really a point super for unity because well being able to render th that many balls and and the collisions were so 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 good um that that it is just a super positive point in the in the unity physics and as i told you no settings were modified in none of the projects Now let's move to 3D, okay? Um, the setup this time is this kind of platform, okay? And the balls will spawn from this side to this side and they will fall like this. It is a little bit more stylish, but it's more of the same thing. Um, in terms of the 3D, well, in Groot I have the basic directional light, world environments and camera 3D nodes. Then I also have the environment that is basically all these walls that have all around them to avoid balls from falling down basically all kind of walls with static bodies um basically to avoid that uh well i also have the ui with time and the current fps now in the vault you can see it is a rigid body and it has no settings that have been uh, modified uh, it just have a mesh and a collision shape and here the rate in 3D is a little bit different, okay? Here the rate that I have is 0 0.005 uh, so that the test doesn't get so, so long. Uh, I am updating here the FPS text. Then I am calculating here the timer in, in code instead of using a timer node because when there is a, a rate that is so, so low, timers don't work well. And then I am updating here the time. And finally, I also have here the basic spawn ball function, okay? And here I, I am just spawning one ball at a time. I, know you, I am not creating like bursts of five or something like that that we had in 2D. Now, pay close attention when we start playing what happens, okay? There are some balls that literally trespass the walls or something like that. I don't know why that is happening. Uh, but well, it seems that physics simulation is quite good, let's say. But well, as you see... I think that we had something like five seconds and everything started to break. So let's see. We have four, five, well, seven, seven seconds until everything started to work awful in terms of FPS. But this time the behaviors, there aren't, I, I couldn't even spot one ball that, that uh, tra trespassed some kinds of wall. I do see in the beginning of the code in the beginning of the execution actually that there are some balls that like i don't know if they aren't colliding with the floor no it seems that they aren't colliding with the floor i know it is impossible they don't have bounciness set so it's impossible for them to like bounce off so yes it must be something related to again collision detection um because also if you think that they are being bounced off i have actually uh, set here tons of collisions of static bodies for example that they have meshes that i created to to see where the collisions are and as you can see they completely cover from side to side all types of collisions okay there we go and here we see the other one so it's impossible for for them to be bouncing off so it must be because i don't know maybe here there is so much weight in these balls over here because they, they are falling down and at the same time they're, they're, they could be colliding with the balls that they have on top. So because of so much weight over there, maybe they trespass the, the floor. That's the only thing that, that I can think about. And in Unity, as you can see, we have something quite similar. I have uh, all these walls set up over here, having just box colliders and mesh renders when I need it. Uh, there, then I also have here some other walls in order to prevent them from coming off the platform, let's say that I created exactly like this. Um, then uh, I have here the spawner, okay, 
that as you can see the rate is the exact same one uh, and I'm using a coroutine once again and I'm basically spawning the vaults I also have over here a canvas okay um, but as you can see the only, ha the only thing that it has is FPS time and I'm calculating these things accordingly in this other uh, in this other script okay and finally in terms of the wall again quite similar I have a sphere collider a rigid body as you can see no settings have been modified so now let's see what we can get here uh, in unity so in Guru we have something like seven seconds until everything started to work a little bit weird um, but here well we can surpass that seven time mark it seems that FPS are still quite quite high as you can see we have over 200 FPS that is amazing we are in mostly 20 seconds and still FPS quite stable we have literally no issues with collision I also think that once again the simulation with the balls falling down one from the other is a little bit better than the simulation we have in Oro as you can see here we have over 25 seconds uh, 35 seconds right now unity we now do start to see some kinds of vibration over here but well it is normal because there is so much weight over here um so yes indeed this is uh the, the unity test that as you can see yeah well i think that numbers just can can speak to 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 themselves okay so you can see we have over one minute of time So yes, I want to read you in the comments down below, of course, physics are quite a wide topic, both in Groot and Unity, but well, uh, I think that the, the, the 2D engine of Groot was still quite good, uh, it is always receiving updates, both 2D and 3D, but the 2D did have a pretty good performance, quite acceptable performance, I'm talking about performance, okay, at least we were able to get some seconds, but well, there every, then everything started to break in terms of collisions, but well, in Unity, well, the, the two results that we got in Unity, I would say that were just massive, okay? And of course, maybe these situations you are not going to exactly in a game have thousands of balls exponing. But well, this is just a quick benchmark to see how physics behave in a in a much uh, in a much more complicated situations and how they handle things. For example, we saw that in Godot, the main weak point was collision detection, at least in 2D and in 3D was performance overall and, and there were also I think some collision issues in the beginning of the running oh, well Unity I would say that it didn't have any issues at all of course no engine is perfect nor Unity nor good old but well I think that here we do have at least with this type of test and this test that I performed that we do have a clear winner but anyway I would like to read you in the comments down below